This episode is brought to you by The Guarantors. Facing rising renter fraud? Don't let fraudulent applications compromise your financial stability. The Guarantors provide a safety net that protects your rent roll and minimizes bad debt. Why risk it? Talk to The Guarantors and secure your property's financial health. Visit theguarantors.com forward slash multifamily today. Go to another episode of the Multifamily Collective. Are you chasing speed? Or are you chasing strength? Kobe Bryant and Chris Bosh were just incredible basketball players. And both of them along the same line suggested something like, look, it's, it's a struggle. It takes perseverance to create strength in your game. That was basketball. But the same applies to business. And a lot of times we're very much into chasing speed and we're trying to get things done or accomplished in a very short period of time, or trying to ring the bell or put up a good win or do something in the near term that sort of demonstrates that we're, we're gaining accomplish or we're making accomplishments when the real game we're playing here is the long game. And sometimes we confuse speed with progress because you're checking things off the list. You're crossing things off your to-do list, but we're losing sight of the fact that we're building legacy over a long bit of time. And we're trying to build something that is going to endure over a long bit of time. You think about Warren Buffett in the investing world. He has been investing since, who knows, 14, 15, 16 years old. I can't remember. I read his book, but it's not coming to mind readily. But it was very young. And now he's one of the richest people in the world. But it is not because he he got in a very fast car uh, called investing and drove for the most risky assets, he rather took the path of slow growth over long bits of time. And now he's ended up in a position where he is frankly one of the most successful people, at least by a monetary measure in the world. Uh, versus Enron, you know, a company that just came on the scene, I believe in California and just blew up the the energy space and then blew up their company because of uh, accounting, creative accounting, let's call it that. <laughs> so it's it's interesting in the world of nature, you can think about this like a, if you're, what you're trying to build is really like a towering oak and you, you know that an oak tree grows over a very long bit of time, but it is very strong. It's very sturdy. It becomes even more sturdy when it starts to weather the storm or any other element in nature that impacts it in some way, it grows slow. So it has a slow, it has a very strong and sturdy base, a very deep tap root. And you think about your life like that, you build your life that way as opposed to like a weed that falls or a seed that falls in a crack of a sidewalk and grows and it has nothing to sustain itself or nothing to hold itself in place. So it just withers away very quickly. So my encouragement to you today is just Every day, focus on something small, just a small action that you can take that can turn into a habit. If you haven't read Atomic Habits or you haven't listened to Janet Ross's MMN podcast, Optimize, she talks about 1% better. Uh, there's just this philosophy. You don't have to go out and make a huge bang in the world. You just have to put together a few very productive habits and do them over and over and over and over again over a long bit of time. And you'll wake up one day and you'll have a solid legacy. So just remember that fast wins, super temporary. Stuff that you build over a long bit of time, super sustainable. That goes for relationships, that goes for systems, that goes for disciplines, routines, process, all that. So just remember, struggle is, is real, but it's real important in terms of your growth. Celebrate it. Celebrate the struggle. Even the suck. Celebrate the suck. Um, and think long term. We're in a long game. Take care. Talk to you again soon.